I'm gonna take this storage space slash garage area and I'm gonna build out a home gym. Yeah! Come on! Come on! Here's what we got a plan for. These will collapse in if we need to. The bike's gonna live in the garage, so we gotta make room for it. We're gonna put rubber flooring across. I'm gonna take this whole wall and put up plywood, do handstand push-ups or hit it without messing up the wall. Oh yeah, that's protected. Yeah, yeah. Now we just gotta figure out what we're gonna do with all of this. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna save you guys the time of knowing what all we did here. We took some stuff to Goodwill, we packaged it up well, I built these shelves, and then we put it on the shelves, so now it looks like this, organized and tucked away. Here's the first look with the gym completely cleared out. Car's out, got the space, and we've got wood. We went with 17 30 seconds, so just over a half inch. We're not gonna need a ton of structure on the wall because it does have the framing, the drywall behind it but we wanted this because it's got a smooth, nice finish on one side. Whenever you're doing this stuff, remember one side's smooth and the other side's gonna be a little more of these knots. Paint this side, it's gonna be nicer. So you wanna put this side out. I'm gonna be putting this plywood into my old wall here, so I need to find the studs. You can always use a stud finder, but there's also some cheat codes. If you look, see like right here. Oh, there's a good one. That is a screw. If you push on the drywall, see how it pushes out a little bit? Right here, someone drilled and secured the drywall to the stud right there. So that's a dead giveaway for where a stud is. Another fun fact, two by fours are not two inches by four inches. They're actually one and a half inches by three and a half inches. So you're gonna have a two by four turn sideways. You have an inch and a half to be guessing here to hit on. All right, it's hard to tell, but I've drawn the lines across the whole wall here. All right, I'll be cutting the wood, throwing it on this wall. I'll cut this one, cut that one, build off from the middle. Now it's time to get cutting. Always wear protection. <laughs> one thing that's really important is these all have to line up on studs. Where the wood ends on the two boards meeting up need to both fit onto a one and a half inch stud. This is where the stud is. So I have to guess that all the way up. The last piece to finish up the wall. Screwed in and we're good to go. Booyah! Well, I accidentally caught my hand on the corner of the garage. It's not too deep. Whenever you cut it and it goes down to the white meat, that's not good. It's not too bad. Just throw some soap in it. Don't worry, I have a medical professional here. That's what we do. We duct taped it. Time to bring the floor in. Normally at like CrossFit gym, you're gonna get a three quarter inch thick rubber mat. And if you go trying to buy that at some fitness store, it's gonna get really expensive. The cheat code, here it is, stall mats. Stall mats meaning uh, horse stalls. So if you go to Tractor Supply Co or something like that, you can get these four by six foot long, three quarter inch thick rubber mats and they're about $45 a piece. All right, floor's in, walls up. For short one. Ben brought something. What is it, Ben? It's the last mat. Just use the box cutter here and cut to get my final piece. That was the only one I had to cut. Everything else fit right in. Well, I walk out here and Ben has taken down the blackout. All right. <laughs> it has begun. Black wall, mats are in. Also, shopislandninja.com, get you some sick merch. So I got all the things set out here. It took forever just to open it all up. This will be the rack system we got from Bolt. Now I assembled this thing by myself, but I would definitely recommend getting a buddy because this stuff got wobbly and almost crushed me a few times. But I left the bolts a little loose and then we tightened them up as we secured it into the wall. So you can see the washer on the bottom, but I forgot to put a washer on the top. And I have all these extra washers, so I gotta take them all off again. This is a 3 8 lag bolt. This is a 5 16 drill bit. We're gonna pre-drill with that and use a washer. We will have the level on this side piece and this one in the middle and then we're just gonna level it as we're gonna screw it in and both sides are now level. We have this little bit of place so you can lift up these arms and move them so that way you can fold it in and out. Well, we have to make sure that we lift this up when we screw it in. So I clamped these. Projects are so much more fun when you're doing them with your friends. We were over just by that tiny bit and it missed the stud. As you're drilling it in, you'll feel the drill bit grabbing into the wood, but as soon as it goes into like 
air essentially, if it goes right through the drywall and misses the stud, it gets really easy really fast. That means you miss the stud. Very important that you hit studs, especially when bolting on this stuff, because this is holding all your weight. We missed one, but no big deal. We just bumped over a little bit and then we hit. We're good to go. That's tight, dude. Sick. Seems good. The question is, can you muscle up? Oh, we got it. Just at the top. Let's see it, bro. Oh, so it's 6-2, it still works for me. Down here we're gonna paint this bottom trim black as well as this top piece black. Got the box painted. Oh yeah, the pineapples on it. Here's the final gym build out. We got the squat rack with the weights, plenty of spots to do calisthenic stuff from pull-ups to dips. And you can't forget the custom box jump we had to build and uh, just add some fun stuff. Had a good time building all this. Even put on a custom magnetic little dry erase board you can pop on and off. Everything's in. Now it's time for the over the top, most ridiculous workout hype video in three, two, one, go. <laughs> In the description below, I'm gonna put a lot of links to the stuff that I use if you wanna go out and build yourself one. Also, comment below anything else you wanna see made or workout routines you guys wanna know about. ShopIslandNinja.com to get yourself some merch. And uh, keep working out, keep training hard, and keep smiling.